Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of West of Loathing. I am here with Kiro Neko X96X. Hey guys. We are playing West of Loathing, like I said. Uh, make sure you use my link in my dis in the description on Ray's Energy, because it's a quite, uh, quite a high quality energy drink. And if you use my code MRAK, M-R-A-K, all caps, kind of like this one, but all caps, uh... You'll get 15% off your purchase, and you'll be helping out my channel. So let's get into this. Alright, so where would be, we be going uh, first? I am currently at Kellogg Ranch. Okay, I'm currently fighting a cow, and uh, kick their butt, and uh, now I'll be going to the... Uh... There's a statue of a skeleton over here. A menacing ape skeleton. Boy, there's sure a lot of books about enemas on this shelf. Mostly medical journals and Bibles and some old National Geographics. Let's talk to the ghost. Whoa, uh, hello? Hello? So you're a ghost, huh? So yes, it does appear so. And alas, without me here to instruct them in my regime of purity, all my patients have fled. That's probably not exactly why. They're likely out ravaging the countryside and their own bo and their own bodies. One cannot have purity of the soul without purity of the body, you know. What's this whole purity kick about anyways? My threefold path of elimination of corrupting influences. Would you like to hear about it? Sure, lay it on me. The first step I call purity of the glands. I one one must rid one must rid oneself of all romantic and sexual desires and cease any self-polluting activities. Like what? Smoking cigars? Well, yes, yeah, speaking more of, you know, nighttime activities when you're alone. What? Anyway, that's the first step. Okay, what's the second step? The second step is purity of guts. This is accomplished through frequent cold water enemas. Yikes! And the consumption of wholesome and nutritious grain flakes manufactured through my personal, uh, scientifically developed recipe. What makes them any different from bre other breakfast cereals? You not know, hear me? The recipe is scientifically developed. Alright, what's the third step then? The final step is purity of the muscles. I've developed an extensive exercise re regime, regimen, Featuring several workout mechanics that I have invented myself. Neat. All of this together, what is it? My regimen eliminates corrupting influences from the body, plus purifying the body, mind, and soul. Well, that sounds like a good result uh, to shoot for, and it works. Certainly it does. Why just look at me? You're dead. Only coincidentally. Uh-huh. The desk is ty serious, corruptiously tidy. In fact, there's not much as a desk bottler or a single pen. It only has one drawer. However, you find a secret button cleverly hidden on the underside of the that one drawer. Hey, that's my desk. Keep out of it. You're incorporeal, so go ahead and try and stop me. Well, I never. The hidden panel slides open the back wall, revealing a secret room. Awesome. Let's go in said secret room. This is the most boring secret room you can imagine. Keep calm and enjoy nothing. Dormitory. Oh, we're going to the dormitory now? Yep. Uh, uh, there is a scrap of paper under the pillow. Let's read it. It looks like it torn out part of a diary. Opposed to a cheap purity of glands, but I can't s stand sleeping in those metal pants. They're so noisy, especially when I... Nope, it got cut off. Yeah. There's a skeleton in this bed, and it's wearing weird metal pants. I got an item. Chastity pants. I believe I... Yep, I got chastity pants too. 
This bed is covered in bones. Let's take them. I got skeletal bones. Uh, this bed is empty. This bed is empty. All right, let's leave. Let's get it. Let's go to the kitchen. It's a combination grain sifter, flour mill. Who know? And who knows what? The grain hoppers are certainly empty. This label on this thing that says dough press. This large oven, but it doesn't have a door. Just a wide slot. is the best sauce. Said that. Let's weigh yourself. You weigh on the... According to the scale, you weigh 24 slugs. You don't know what the, how to use the scale correctly. Let's measure yourself. You, According to the ruler, you, you stand three stades and six pouts is tall. You don't know how to use this ruler correctly. It says, for me, according to this ruler, you're seven feet and nine rods tall. You don't know how to use this ruler correctly. Years worth of weight and height recordings for the ranch's customers. It is the most boring book you've ever read in its entirety. As for my weight, according to the scale, you weigh eight, gr eight, eight grams? You don't know how to use this scale correctly. I'm in the gymnasium. Wait, 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 wait. You forgot. What? There's a secret. Oh. Yep. Oh, let's pry it open with the crowbar. Kellogg Ranch. Kellogg Ranch key ring. Oh, does that mean we can go back in the dormitory and open up these lockers? Yep. It does? Yep. Nice. I got Kellogg's Grain Flakes recipe and Cowboy Chef's Hat. Let's, uh, let's see here. Plus two spell, da spell damage. I like my plus two armor. Let's unlock the next one. I got sugared pork balls, peppermint drops, and Kellogg Ranch workout regiment. Oh, I got a diary. It says the diary of Blank Smith. The first name has worn away, but you can tell it has fewer than eight letters. Sadly, the contents aren't particularly juicy, but the author joined Kellogg's health program because she'd had several relatives with poor health and wanted to preserve her own. She found that the ranch to be pretty boring, but appreciate the lack of anything much else to do. Gave her plenty of time to spend knitting, which was her favorite hobby. The last entry mentions Kellogg's death, rumored to be unconfirmed due to brain aneurysm caused by the outage, uh, outrage at hearing a dirty joke. And the author was returning home. Guess she forgot the diary when she left. Not particularly hot at all. I got a bottle of Landum. I got uh, more needles. I got a Cutser Fit headband and a Cutser Fit pants. Oh! Birds fit. Birds fit. So. You know what those are for? Yeah, the exercise thing at the Kurtz thing, remember? Yeah. We should go back after we're done investigating this place and go back to uh, the place where. Oh, there's the gymnasium. Oh, that's not the right gymnasium, but there is weird machines in here. Holy shit, this ha these this gives me f f plus 20 maximum HP. Uh, where's that one place with the... Oh, you can unlock the barn door in Kellogg's Ranch. You... I didn't even go that far yet. Are yeah, let's unlock the door and go inside. Unlock the barn? I got a perk. Unlimited grain. Wow. I took the big coil of barbed wire. There's also a haystack. I got a needle. Needle. Let's take the, the big coil of barbed wire. Needle. 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 Yep, needle. Needle. Alright, we went through everything here, I believe. Uh, where is that place that had the, the dancing people? Was that the Fort of Darkness? No. no. Um, since we've done this for... Wait, they had the grain bags. We're not supposed to do that yet. We're supposed to go back to the main building, remember? 
the kitchen. Oh, I already left. I'm on my way to uh, Fort the Fort of Darkness. Do you hear gunshots and someone shouting nearby and just decide to investigate? This uh, instinct okay, is... Okay, fine. I'll come back to it when you come back to it. Okay, this instinct is basically what separates an adventurer from a sane person. You find a bandit in scorched and blackened clothes wildly firing his pistol at the scenery. Everything he shoots at bursts into flames. Go to hell, cactus. Go to hell, scorpion. Go to hell, Rocky. <laughs> Looks like we've got a real character here. Uh, uh, looks like, oh, well, I ain't disagreeing. Just send in, send in a little scenery to the cow lords below. How about I send you two? We'll make fine and dandy pets for my masters. No, thank you. I knew I hated this guy for a reason. Let's throw a bundle of dynamite at him. You pitch a bundle of dynamite at the guy who shoots it reflectively, but the dust and smoke clears, and all that's left is a gun and a crater and a hat drifting down to the ground. I got a black hat and a smoking gun. Let's see here. Smoking gun. 13 to 17 damage. Ooh. That does 13 to 17 damage and sets an enemy on fire. Okay, but what does the... It just gives me plus one armor. I want this fucking plus 20 HP. I found the dancing people. I'm dancing with the people. Yes, I'm fighting cows. And I got a perk, curtsy and physique. Yes. All right. Now you said there was something at the other place that I missed. Yeah, the Kellogg uh, Ranch. Go back to there. I might actually die from this. Whoops. Arg. Uh, a shirtless man, tight, stretchy pants, and stares at you out of nowhere. No more, no more mushrooms, no more yogurt, no more exploring my inner consciousness while running in place. I'm gonna kill something, kill it, need it. Holy jeez, let's fight him. Wait, where are you? I, it, it was a wandering around thing. Okay, so you're heading back by Kellogg's. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got the perk too. Ow. What happened? Shoot him! Yeah. Oh. Ouch, sir. Fire. Yeah, we killed him. Okay, so I'm back at the ranch. Now what? So you're going to go into the kitchen, take that bag of grain, and insert it. And then you're going to... To do some cooking and it's another puzzle. The machine is complicated, but it looks pretty simple there. Later, grain hop pulls a lever on each of them to dispense a mixture of grain and a mixture of chamber below. Crank for running mixture and then start over. Um, let's see here. I think we need to look at the recipe. Do we have the recipe that we took? Uh. Yes. Wait, that's the workout regimen. <sighs> yeah, we got the workout regimen. Oh, Kellogg's grain recipe. It's four parts barley, one part oats, three parts spelt. Then press to 91 PSI and then cook for 8 minutes for 640 degrees. Okay, so what is first? Four parts barley, one part oats, three parts... Oh, no. Four parts barley. Four times, right? Yeah, so... One, two, three, four. One part barley, or... Four parts barley, one part oats. One part spelt. And one part spelt? 
Yeah. And one part oats. You turn the mixing crank, your UV the grain mixing chamber blurs and it begins to spin at an impulse rate. Disappointingly, nothing happens. Looks like it. Okay, let's do start over. Uh, so it's... Oh, three parts spelt. Okay, so, so it's four barley, three spelt, one oats. In what order? Four parts barley, one part oats, three parts spelt. And then turn the mixing crate. And then you got multi-grain dough. dough. Then you put it in at 91 PSI. Uh, and then I turn the... Insert the dough, and then I do it... It reads, it reads 80 PSI. What do I do? You gotta just... Try, you gotta... Hold on. Yeah, you gotta... It's gotta be... Oh, wrong one. 91 PSI. So we entered the dough. The green button does nothing. You hit the red button. It goes up to 5. So that's 85. You hit the red button. That's 90. Blue button. That's 91. Two red buttons and a blue? Yeah. And then you press the yellow button, and then you got flattened multi-grain dough. You grab your dough, and Lee, as you're leaving, you're wondering if this dough is even leavened. Insert your flattened dough. Yeah. At 640 degrees. Uh, At 8 minutes. Okay. And then you got Kellogg Grain Flakes. They're um. great! Okay, so you know, I haven't slept in a long time in this game. Is that bad? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go back to... D Dirt water? Yeah. Your, yeah, let's... Your El Vibrato tron Transponder starts beeping. You follow it to a small outcropping of El Vibrato ruins in a nearby creek. I got El Vibrato Scrap and El Vibrato Punch Card. That was a weird dream. Week 8. Did you have your first good week? All right, let's get these perks going. I'm going through my food. All right, uh, I'm gonna go sleep in my room real quick in here. Let's sleep. You sleep. You dream that you're having lunch with a red-suited dwarf in the middle of the desert. Suddenly, all, all your teeth find out, and you wake up quite refreshed. You wake up refreshed, restored, and hungry and sober. Let's mosey. Day three. You get the idea. All right, let's actually eat something in-game again, because we haven't done that in a while. Purifies your guts. Nope. Increases your armor by five. Actually, let's do this. drinking
Nice. Uh, let's drink this. Okay. Uh, character gumption. My muscle is at 32. How much muscle did we need for the circus? 40? Huh? How much muscle did we need to do the circus stuff? 40 or something like that. Okay, so you said in dirt water there was a crazy old man needing meds. Let's talk to him. He doesn't react to you at all. Okay. Mm. Alright, uh... Well, I'm gonna go to the petting cemetery. Okay, I'll join you there in a I discovered a new place called Madness Maw Mine. You want me to... I'm gonna go there. Mad Muscle Mine? Madness Ma Mine. Madness Ma Mine. I'll see if I have that yet. There is a dude with a weird looking face out here. Let's fight him. You aren't one of us. Be gone from this place, interloper. Now you know something ba bad is going down. Nobody uses the word interloper. Let's fight him. Fire! Oh, damn. Shoot him! Holy shit, spooky damage! Fire! Yep, Madness Maw Mine. Be there in a second. You have it? Yeah. Whack him with your stick. Yeah, there we go. Die, bitch. Oh, I met Wandering Sally's real quick. I got a cultist mask. What does this do? I'm gonna put this on. That'll let me get in here. The cultist ignores you. The cultist ignores you. Uh. I have learned. Safe cracking god. You learned safe cracking? I got the book finally. From who? Wandering Sally. I'm in the madness maw mine. Let's dig this. Oh yes, I. Oh, oh my God. This shape is making me feel uncomfortable. Oh boy. Look at all these spirals. Uh, there's a big cylinder on the top of this rectangle. Let's take it. Uh, let's try now. Nope. I got El Vibrato Punch Cards 4. Let's scrounge. I got El Vibrato Scrap 7. Let's try now on this machine. I got an El Vibrato Helmet. Plus 11 spell damage, hell yeah. Let's fight this dude. Spell damage! Damn it, shoot him! Oh, I'm gonna die. Shoot him! Oh, I died. Oh, shit, I gotta get my health kit up. I got the effect angry. Alright, well, I already left here. Where's the scientist guy for the El Vibrato crap? You mean the doctor? Yeah. Where's he at? Uh, 
the doctor's uh, the doctor's house? Literally. The professor's house? Yeah. We're gonna go there. Okay, I'm finishing up this butthole right here that I'm trying to kick their butt. Oh man. No, don't kill me. No, they're gonna kick my ass. Nope, I got them. Level muscle 14 and cult leader mask. Wait, you fought all those guys in there? I was trying to. Ah. Uh. I got a ley line diagram. Let's read that. Let's use it. This is surprising that you stick it in your nice. Whoa. What? Let me see. This is in the Madness Mall Mine. Oh, is it the El Vibrato stuff? If you put your uh, vibrato stuff inside that machine... It'll start saying weird words. You get this. This helmet right here. El vibrato helmet. Uh, I but I don't want that. I don't have it. I'm not sure what to put into the music. You need to go all the way to the end and get more uh, the seven scraps that it gives you. Well, what's all the words there? What do I pick? You just click the first one. Really? Yeah. Okay, let me do it. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to, uh, uh, the military cemetery up north. Okay. A goblin wandering along the path, muttering and ranting out loud to itself. Why are you not cramming entire baguette up your icing funnel? Wow, what? Go marrying a Babel, Mutton Chucker. Muffin Chucker. Uh, talk to him. Where did you learning a talking like that? Finding a guide to human cusses, cake sucker. The goblin shows you a pamphlet. And on the back it says, Brought to you by the Breadward Board of Tourism. Leave the goblin be. You ride away with the baffin from the bafflingly rude goblin who shouts bread-related insults as you go. Alright, let's go to burial plots. Beyond this gate are countless rows of columns and tombstones. They're not actually countless. I've counted them, and there are 999 of them. You can visit an individual plot by number if you like. Let's visit a plot. 666. Six, six. Oh, ho, nice! What? Next to the tombstone, you find a pedestal with a leather-bound book atop of it. Looks evil. You better grab it before somebody else does. Intermediate next mix. My Six, six, six? Yeah. Are you doing the next mech stuff too? Yep. The necromancy crap? I'm doing it too on top of High it. five! Uh, let's visit another plot. Give me, pick a random number between 1 and 999. Oops. 420. 420? I got, it's overgrown, <laughs> the plot 420 is completely overgrown, overgrown with mushrooms. You root around the loose shroomage and find a book. Coincidentally, it's a book about mushrooms. Yes. Let's visit another plot. One. Uh, you approach a graves, it reads, first slime something, Dela Cruz. 
444th Chef Medic Division. The soldier buried here is making a lot of noise. Let's dig it up and fight it. Should a Let's actually cast this spell. Oh, it missed. Shoot him! Oh, no. He's a bean slinger! He's a bean slinger! They literally did the best ones with the most inappropriate, like... They did the best graves as inappropriate numbers. Do, a uh, plot number 69. Do it 069. What? Um, if you're still in the grave site, when you do 069, it gives you stuff. Well, I was just gonna do this, look. One. Two. Three. I was gonna go all the way up to 999 and see if I get a whole bunch of crap. Oh, no. Yep. I'm going to call this episode Grave Digging. <laughs> Alright, well, let's whack him. Whack him! Streaming! We are streaming! Hello. Uh, I'm going to shoot it. Oh my god. I need to heal. What do I got for healing? <gasps> Alright, let's go to number two. Uh, three. I hear a badingus. There's a kitty in the background. Okay, so these are all fights. Six, seven, eight. Let me know which numbers you have success on getting around with. Okay, eight, nine. Oh. Nine? Wait, hold on. Oh, I've been reading this wrong. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna start back at one. One. Okay. Two. Two. Oh, a soldier buried here is making a lot of noise. Okay. Is it three? This grave is quiet. Dig it up. I got an army lockbox out of number three. Number four. This grave is buried here is making a lot of noise. It's that's a fight. Five. That's a fight. Six. You hear the grave resident scratching at his coffin. Uh, let's visit six. So seven. Soldier eight. This grave doesn't bear any telltale marks of necromantic interference. Let's dig it up. I got human ashes, grave dirt, and skull chips on number eight. Eight? Yeah. Okay. Nine. This grave, okay, let's dig it up. I got a chemical bullet, an incendiary bullet, and a silver bullet from number nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's do ten. Uh, you put your ear to the ground. It's quiet. The soldier buried here apparently hasn't been re reanimated yet. Let's dig it up. I got an incendiary bullet and smelling salts. Eleven. Uh, this tombstone seems more ornate than most, though it is particularly worn away. The epitaph on it inscribed as well. Died of a broken heart. Uh, 
say a word for the departed. What would you like to say? I said oof, but it didn't work. Uh, I think you actually have to find out what you got to say. Let's visit another plot, then and come back to that. Mark down some more plot 11. Um, here, I'll put it on the phone. Whee! Smoking vape. Let's see here, uh, 12. Uh, soldier here is making a lot of noise. 13. I got a burnt scroll. 14. 15. Oh, that's 45, not 15. 15. Oh no, my shovel broke. Yeah, mine too. All right, let's uh, let's come back here. We're gonna go to uh, where's what's her face, the chick who sells you stuff. You mean the button in the store? No, the the wandering Sally. Yeah. Yeah, find her. Oh, she's random. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go to the button willow store then. Let's fight these bandits. Yeah! I hit the TNT. Shoot him! Nice! Got them all. Where are you going? Button Willow Store? Yes. Yeah, I'll go to Button Willow Store too to get a shovel. She doesn't have a shovel. Uh, what about the person? What about the dirt water mercantile? I'm selling stuff currently. Oh, at um at the Button Willow store? Yeah. Okay. Get cracking a safe to you have to read it. You have skills safe cracking time to get cracking. Let me back my Okay, I sold a whole bunch of crap. Where was the other stuff, the other place? Uh, let's see here. The other place is going to be... Um, the other place could be the Dirt Water Mercantile. Alright, let's go down there. Uh, lock, pit, and plus needle. Yes. 308 meat. Nice. Lock, pick, and a needle? Yeah, it was some random thing. See if this guy has a yes. This guy has a shovel. Thank you. Back to the military place. Dang. Uh, Badingus gets suddenly spooked by something. 
off the side of the trail and it's easy to understand why there's a horse skeleton in the ditch which is the thing that's probably extra spooky if you're a horse let's stop down and investigate I got the ring of getting places faster Ooh. reduces the frequency of random encounters let's put that on All right, so we're at what? 15? 16? Nope. 17? Nope. 18? 19? 20? 21? 22, 23, 20, hold on. I'm just going to look this up and save us some time. So, which grave plots? Yeah. Yes, please. Military grave plots. Okay, uh... Okay, so the special graves are 13, 69, 420, and, uh, 666. 13, we missed 13. I've already visited 13. What was 13? Something for the Necromancy Journal. Oh, I'll go back there real quick, actually. Um. I got... On 69, yeah, Induendo Drive, I got Incendiary Bullet and Chemical Bullet. Okay, that's all I got. Okay, let's read some of this stuff. Burnt Scroll, let's examine it. This scroll is, is in a bad shape. You can't really make out anything new, but you're convicted. Convinced this must be another clue to the whereabouts of the necromancer. You stick it in your scroll, in your journal. Uh, let's read this. Teaches you about all kinds of mushrooms. Pass and fair mycologists. After you finish reading the book, you absentmindedly misplace it while musing about mushrooms. Intermediate next mix gives you the vampiric yodel skill. Yep, I got the vampiric yodel skill with uh, sunken in. Are you sure? The, the dark, yes, I read it. As you read the words in the book, a voice that is not your own howls along them I in your see. head. As you get near to the end of the book, the howls become more and more melodic. You got the skill vampiric yodel. As you turn over the last page of the book, uh, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. You don't feel so well. I got your body withers and shrinks. You got the put the perk emancipated. Emancipated. Okay. Emaciated. Emaciated. Yeah, that means very, very, very malnourished, very skinny. Oof. Let's go to Eternal Flame. Uh Eternal Flame. It's the next thing over. In the military cemetery, this goblin is roasting a weenie over an over the eternal flame. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No, it's good fire, not to wasting it. Let's fight him. Uh, cast a spell. Let's shoot it. Don't hit me with your wiener. Fire bullet. Nice. I got goblin bratwurst. Yeah. 
Let's investigate the character Shanty. Shad Shanty. You poke around the shed, the caretaker appears to have been shirking his duties for quite a while, judging by the dust and cobwebs. Let's look at the tools. The tools, well, tool singular. There's a single shovel. There's a shovel here. Since you already have a shovel, you'll leave it alone. It's not likely you'll be able to dig twice as fast. Hey, now we can now we can come get a free shovel. Free shovel from where? The military caretaker's grave keep thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's look under the chair. There's just food crumbs. Let's scope out the desk. It's covered with old spattered newspapers. And, okay. Let's check out the flyers. I got a new map location. Fort Memoriam. All right. I ate some goblin bratwurst. Let's eat another one. Okay. I'm going to head now to Alexandria's ranch. Oh. Your transponder beeps and indicates a spot on the horizon. You spur Bedingas towards it and investigate. Well, just a well. Damned will stop you from investigating it. Let's go to the curious abandoned well. Curious abandoned well? It was a random encounter. Let's attach a rope and climb down the well. Oh, a teleportation device. It's lifeless. Another teleportation device. Let's grab a bunch of... His screen says, Habuno Skatskuzum. There are no buttons on it, but they're very fine. Let's put in a small punch card. Uh, you insert the card into the slot, the screen starts, springs into a frenzy activities. You can't, can't consciously make sense of what you're watching, but when it's over, you know things you didn't know before. You learn that El Vibrato is a word for, you learn El Vibrato word for current, the El Vibrato word for south, and the El Vibrato word for destination. Let's do a large punch card. Uh, you insert it into the slot, the machine The machine springs into frenzy activities, okay? You learn the word municipal and military. Okay, let's keep doing these punch cards. Uh, disposal, organic, system, secondary, garbage, return, source, bridge, detach, Auditory equipment matter large punch guard magnitude initialize beacon uh, Anti-psychotic reactor Emergency corruption and that's it uh, Let's press the button uh, You press the button the machine speaks uh, Nib jabatu. Okay, let's look at them uh, Let's press the first one uh, Let's press it what are you, Where are you at? I went to the Curious Abandoned Well. Oh, I still probably don't have that. And you said it was just out of encounter? Yeah. Poo-poo, it says. Poo-poo. Okay. Hotata. What? I am cracking every safe that I can find while you're uh, doing your encounter, basically. Hold on. Alright, well, let's do, I'll come back for this. Alright, what is our next uh, step? Let's climb up. Let's talk to her. You hear that sound? It's like a wasp out here. I think it's coming from the well. You aren't serious thinking about jumping down there, maybe. Uh, I'm going to go to Alexandria Ranch. Let's do this. Oh, no. Three bitch-ass cows. 
Let's fight him. I'm gonna do shoot nanny. Bang, bang, bang! Shoot him! Ooh, hoo! Ha ha. Oh, you bitch. I'm going to shoot you in your face. Yeah, shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. Let's scavenge the bookcase. The Diary of Alexandria. Let's uh, look at this. Let's read it. You flip through the diary, and most of it's uneventful, describing the life of a woman who look who likes books and isn't interested in much else. At the end of the with a passage about a soldier from a nearby fort warning her about some kind of danger he wouldn't specify, so she moved her most valuable books to the cellar and took the ordinary precautions, boring up the windows and not leaving the house at night. Turns out it much wasn't good against cannonballs. Hmm. Let's dig through the smoldering books. Investigate the bookshelf. Modern snake oiler. Fuck yeah. Read it. I want to learn. Okay, let's see. Let you consume more potions. Uh, targets moxie. Yeah, let's do strong medicine. A solid steel vault door. To investigate the front half. Fort Treason, the horror. Oof, we're going. Yeah, I got Fort Treason too. Are we. Are we going to Fort Treason? Yeah, we're gonna go to Fort Treason right now. Let's check this out and see why they're called Fort Treason. Let's fight whatever this half faced thing is. Fight it! Shoot it! Ha ha, your attack missed. <laughs> Fort Treason. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> Where's the guy that shot the cannon? Where, where the hell is that guy? Uh, let's pick over the le leftovers. Let's use the lock pick. I got. I got a diary. Go to. Uh, let me check the chest before you use all your picks and stuff real quick. In the barracks, you're gonna go to the upper right corner and go to that one. The private lemon's diary. I believe, yeah, Private Mathau's Diary. Uh, let's read it. Okay, Private Mathau's Diary. Yep. Um. Uh, where is that? Oh, there it is. Let's read it. Most of Private Mathau's diaries and empty pages, ink blotches, and latrine duty, blah, blah, blah. Near the end, you start to see notes about the Fort Commanding Officer, Captain Simon, going off the deep end. As Mathau puts it, being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere doing nothing is driving the captain frickin' bag nuts. Bug nuts. When the captain eventually decided that the nearby ranch occupied by a solitary woman and her book collection was actually an enemy spy outpost, Mathau felt compelled to warn the woman, but she was too worried about court mar getting court-martialed to give uh, uh, her any specific detail of the looming threat. In an attempt to prevent the imminent cannon bombardment of the ranch, uh, Mathau told some ballistic charts and hid them in the post office box during a shore leave in dirt water. This place doesn't have any damn shore, he comments, is what the hell. 
Unfortunately, the cannons had already been calibrated, and with Al returned to the camp, he discovered the shelling had already begun. In his last entry, he declares his intention to start mutiny, but the diary ends with no conclusion. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. Where was the other one? Yeah, they, they don't have anything else out of Fort Treason, actually. So we have learned information that leads us back to Dirtwater to the post office. Mm-hmm. So, what are you thinking we should do? I'm going to Dirtwater. Alright, sounds good. Hey, it's the Cactus Man. Cactus Bill, didn't expect you to see you around these parts. Well, I gotta admit, I got a little nervous when I saw you leap wearing spreads. I figured I'd hit you right out west to see what I could see. And just look at this place. So much hustle, so much bustle. There's a lot of both of those. Hey, nice spot, pot. Thank you kindly. So what's new? Well, to be honest, this new profound sense of longing and loneliness. I'm sorry to hear that, Bill. Well, it was hoping I'd run across a similarly lonely cactus lady somewhere out here, or fail, f failing a normal human lady looking to marry a cactus. No luck? No luck, of course. Uh, getting around is a bit of a challenge, but us cactuses live a long time. I'm sure I'll meet somebody someday. I'll keep an eye out. Heck, I would sure appreciate it. Uh, let's go to the post office. I got Fort Treason's Ballistic Charts. Alright, let's read this. Alright, well, I'm calling it here. Thank you guys for watching this episode of West of Loathing. Me and Kiro Neko x 96 x thank you for it. And make sure, make sure you use my link, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you!